and uh, the, 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 the gadget has been tra transported to Kenya to come and serve a certain purpose by some people who enter either some ship or an aeroplane. It can enter Kenya due to make a city a leo if it serves a certain purpose. What does it mean? And you see, uh, they are the transporters, they are those who made the, the, the manufactured goods come to the people and serve a certain purpose. Now, the bigger source of you is not your parents, but the bigger source of you is God in heaven. So I can encourage you, even if perhaps you are an orphan, even if perhaps you don't have parents who support you, I can to tell you you have a father in heaven. Your name associated with 
Joki noisy maker. James Kelly. When they hear your name, what comes into the mind? The Bible says a good name is better than even silver. Some of us, we will lose the positions and places that we were meant to be. Some people even lose the job because of bad name they create. That's why the writer of Proverbs, with all these wisdom, says a good name can take you places. There is a guy who we were being employed at the same time. The principle of what we were being, we were being, we were being um, the schools that that they were being given job. He missed the job because he had created a name. Because when he goes places, Kazia can be our style. So the principal was told, don't, don't try allow that person to be employed in your school. The guy had even a first class. But what Wali Ankuka Kumuliko, Wali Pata Kazi, because of good name. This is what we call reputation. Don't say, I don't care. Si pangui I came to Valencia you. Unameza pangu by good character. To have a good name. Ju utasema upangui bi. Lakini utaona watu wakipata kazi. Utaona watu wakipata mamu makubwa. Na ulikuwa mawashida in an academics. Because your name is known of bad things. Take care of your name. Number two, take care of your heart like a man. Take care of your heart. The Bible says is that in 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 in, 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 uh, in the Bible says above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Guard your heart. Psalms 51 and verse 70. The Bible says that create in me a pure heart, O God. We will be David after sinning, after taking Uriah's wife. After, um, after sinning and committing adultery with Bia Sheba, he's now coming to God. God, I have sinned against you, creating me pure heart. Some of us, we are into fornication, we are into adultery, we are, oh, adultery is for the mind. We are into sexual immorality because we have not guarded our heart. Now, the gates to our heart are the eyes and our ears. So what do you see? Some of us have gotten forms and we go to pornographic sites. The thing is aimed at destroying your purpose. It is aiming at getting you so that later on in life, it started as a pornographic view, but then it will lead you up into communal streets in Nairobi, where we are prostitutes. It will end up in, in some streets in Vika. Is that the purpose? Those guys were created. It is failing to guard the heart. One day, I entered into some Baba shop or Baba Kunyoleo. I saw a naked woman and I was like, oh!
Hello? Sorry for that technical hitch. I think I was running from the mess. So, I had to close my eyes, but some of us don't take care of our hearts. So, whenever you see, you even take it to your mind and your heart. You start meditating. <laughs> no wonder some of us are failing. Because you meditated on some pictures, pornographic pictures. So, okay, here, 